Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be going over the Gladiator Beast deck profile, a deck that you guys have been highly wanting to see. Um, this specific build is going to be specifically on summoning Gladiator Beast Geysers, disrupting the opponent's back row, and then just destroying whatever we see in our path. I really feel like this is the appropriate build and the better build because the other Gladiator Beast just cannot keep up with how fast-paced this game is. But let's get down to the deck profile. Oh, actually, before I do, um, for here on out, don't message me asking about a deck list. That's like, I would never give one person a deck list. Either you would find it on my YouTube channel or I would just post it on Facebook like a picture. So let's get on to the deck profile. Um, we're gonna run three copies of Lucari and I'll explain why we're in three copies of Lucari later. Two copies of Darius, two copies of Bequest, two copies of Bastari, three Test Tiger, and two Prisma. Um, that's gonna sum up the monsters at 14. For spells, Three Proving Realm, three Onslaught, three uh, Emergency Call, three Lights, and that's going to sum up the spells at about 12. For Traps, three War Chariot, three Safe Zone, three Mirror Force, two Chains. Oops, I don't like that one. That one's kind of beat up. Two Wabaku, Icarus Attack, and Ring of Destruction. Now, let's talk about the deck in itself as for the monster lineup there's a huge difference between this deck and the deck that you guys see me playing on dev pro hint being that i don't run any other gladiator beast monsters that do not get me into geysers that's right there's no more Milo, there's no retari i would love to use secular but he's just a totally different story since he's just so hard to 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 use um the biggest reason why I don't run those is, like I said, they don't get me into Geyseris. All of these monsters play a key role into getting me into Geyseris, thus destroying my opponent's cards and advancing game state. I'm sorry, Gladiator Beast Marmillo is just too slow. It requires me to protect an 800 body, and then opening it is just horrible, and then tagging out into it only gets me one monster destroyed. Um, Ratari is amazing, but banishing one card, I'd rather just run DD Crows. Um... The deck is really good at making Geyserus and doing what it does. As you can see, there's three copies of Onslaught of the Fire Kings, and that's a big reason why I run three Lucaris. So the theory behind Onslaught of the Fire Kings is that it acts as a quote-unquote mini Cyber Dragon-like card. The opponent controls a monster, I don't control the monster, I activate Onslaught, I special summon Gladiator Beast Lucari, I can then follow it up with an E-Emergency Call or Gladiator's Proving Ground to somehow, some way, get Bastari to the side of the field and then tag out to, to Gladiator Beast Geyserus. If you guys weren't paying attention, Ecall searches Prisma, Prisma copies Geyseris, sends Bastari, and then I can tag out into a Geyseris and then destroy all cards on the field. I really prefer three copies of Forbidden Lance over Mystical Space Typhoon for a couple of reasons. First, Forbidden Lance is a lot more versatile in this deck, whereas if I'm battling my opponent and their monster just so happens to be stronger than mine, I'll damage that Forbidden Lance. But most importantly, instead of asking for permission through Mystical Space Typhoon, just blindly hitting back row, I'd rather summon a Gladiator Beast by Geyseris get it bottomless, and then chain the Forbidden Lance to the Geysers, thus protecting the, the Geysers and still being able to destroy two cards on the field. Um, this, this deck is just so battle-heavy, I thought Forbidden Lance was superior. The three Emergency Call and the three Proving Ground are obvious, and I know what, the, what you guys are going to say. I have three Onslaughts for three Lucarius and three Emergency Calls for two Prisma. This is a Gladiator Beast deck. All of your monsters should be cycling back into your deck. So your three emergency calls will always be live. Your three onslaughts will always be live if you're playing the deck effectively. Um, next, for traps, three war chariot, I just feel is just so good. Coupled with two fiendish chains, that's just a lot of effect negation. But um, the thing that I really wanted to talk about is Wabaku. Now, Wabaku used to be a damn near staple in this deck. Um, the opponent attacks into your monster, you Wabaku, and you get a free tag. To be honest with you guys, I'm not really feeling Wabaku. I'd probably drop it out for a second copy in Icarus. I mean, maybe trap stuns to, you know, further stun the opponent in their traps. Um, it's kind of like a cold wave thing that we have going on with trap stuns. Same, some of those one-ofs. Uh, it's really whatever you guys want to do. Wabaku is definitely falling falling out of favor with me. But I, I still run it in there just, you know, to let you guys know that Wabaku is just a pretty decent card. Um, one card that I do want to stress if I were to drop caught Wabaku would probably be for Icarus Attack. I have one, two, three, four um, targets in the deck for Icarus Attack. Now, here's the theory behind Icarus Attack. 
I tag out into a Gladiator Beast Bastari, and let's say for some example, my opponent has that one of bottomless that they're just going to use. Um, I can chain uh, Icarus Attack, tributing my Bastari, and then destroying two cards on my opponent's side of the field. This allows me, even though I do have multiple copies of Bastari now, to go into Bastari safely without it getting banished or, you know, just removed, and also provides an extra blanket of destruction. Let's say if I wanted to destroy four cards, I go into Icarus Attack, my opponent activates a card to, you know, destroy my Geyseris, I chain Icarus Attack. So now I get four destructions with the Geyseris. And while it does leave me a little monsterless, if it wasn't a Gladiator Beast with Staria, it's a plus. Any other time, I'm destroying multiple times to cards, or even with Gladiator Beast Quest, if my opponent were to try to negate the effect of me adding a War Chariot or a Gladiator Beast monster back to my hand, I chain Icarus Attack. Uh, my monster's off the field, can't negate its effect, and then I get to destroy cards on the field. I really love this card. I'd probably consider running too. Um... That's pretty much it for the monster lineup. Um, there's there's a couple of modifications that I felt that could be made on the trap side, depending on what you play. I feel like Mirror Force is just a really good card this format. Um, now on to the extra deck. All right, guys, for extra deck, I mean, it's pretty much mix and match, do whatever you want. I'm just really going to show you a basis of what you should be running. You should be running at least two copies of Gladiator Beast Geysers. Um, I, I really don't see a need for three, but at least two copies. Um, Nerocreus, I, I, I hope and pray that one day... He'll be as great as we all wanted him to be. But right now, to be honest with you, I don't, you don't even have to use him. I have not ever played him whatsoever. Um, one Esadari. For the people that are sideboarding, uh, two copies of Kaiser Kalazim, I'd strongly recommend to, that you run two. Reason being is that, let's say you don't want your opponent to Pendulum Summon, Exceed Summon, Synchro Summon, whatever. Um, you After you battle with your Gladiator Beast Monster and tagged out and gain its effect, uh, i.e. Bastari or, you know, uh, Equest or whatever, you use your Esadari face up on the field and your Gladiator Beast Monster to make another Esadari, keeping one monster on the side of the field. Um, two copies of Heraklinos. I've actually went double hurt before, and plus these look so sh look so nice at ultimate rare. Um, as for Xyz, like I said, it's pretty much a whatever you want to run fest. Dark Rebellion, Gaga Gaga Cowboy, Honor Arc, Castell, Lightning Chidori, Karen Gorgon, Abyss Dweller, Excision Knight, and Still Swim Roach. I feel that Still Swim Roach is a really good card. Um, it's definitely going to rise in popularity soon again. Free the Roach. Now, on to the deck combos. All right, fellas, the deck combos are fairly simple. And when I mean fairly simple, it's almost basic strategy. Let's say my opponent controls cards, including a monster, and I don't. Only thing I need is Onslaught of the Fire King, Emergency Call, Gladiator Beast Bastari, Gladiator Proving. I need any combination of Onslaught and whatever else. So we're going to activate Onslaught of the Fire Kings. Onslaught of the Fire King is going to special summon um, Gladiator Beast Lucari, and I'm going to go into the Stended combo. I'm going to activate Emergency E, Emergency Call. To add Elemental Hero Prisma. We're going to summon the Elemental Hero Prisma. And from Elemental Hero Prisma, we're going to reveal Gladiator Beast Geyseris to send Bastari into our graveyard. From there, we'll tag out into the said Geyseris and then destroy cards on our opponent's side of the field. After we battle with Geyseris, we'll tag him back out to special summon back our Gladiator Beast Lucari and Gladiator Beast Darius. Darius Effect will special summon Gladiator Beast Bastari, and then we will tag one more time into Gladiator Beast Heraklinos. Now the opponent is looking at a 3k beater, you have cards in your hand, and it's not going to be really nice. Heraklinos normally just cleans up the place, especially when you're going against decks like Shadow Hall, Clifford, um, ETC. Another combo would be just the regular Prisma combo, Prisma Test Tiger. The only thing you need is some way to get Prisma, which you have quite a few ways, and then Test Tiger. Um, you normal summon Prisma, Prisma Effect. You'd show the geysers, obviously, and then you'd send Gladiator Beast Bastari to the graveyard. Um, from there, you special summon Gladiator, or I'm sorry, Test Tiger, because you do have a Gladiator Beast monster on the field. And you will return Prisma to the deck to special summon, I'm sorry, he would get tributed, um, to special summon Gladiator Beast Darius. Darius effect activates, which would in turn special summon Bastari back to the field. Its effect would activate, but it's negated. Then we'll tag into Gladiator Beast Geysers, destroying two cards on our opponent's side of the field. Um, a couple other things that I want to stress is that there's a couple more combos that I'm not going to go through because they're just so remedial. Um, you should pretty much get over it. Is that this is probably going to be your favorite card, um, especially if you, you know, you've already used a War Chariot. Go into him early and often as soon as you get War Chariots in the graveyard and keep looping your War Chariots. Negating your opponent's effect monsters is key, which is the reason why I run three War Chariots and two copies of Fiendish Chain. Well, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.